Today we take a look at the new motor for the Tesla Roadster, will it be successful? Find out in this video. Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of Tesla news. Before we get into the video be sure to subscribe and like the video. Elon Musk elaborates on Tesla's new electric motor, teases even crazier motor for new Roadster. Elon Musk launched the first Roadster in 2008 and let's say it wasn't great. But it was a starting point for Tesla now we can look at the future and what the motor is going to look like in the Roadster. Elon Musk has elaborated on details of Tesla's new electric motor, the plaid carbon wrapped motor, and even teased an even crazier higher RPM version coming to the new Roadster. One thing we were hoping for during the presentation of the new Model S at the delivery event last week was more details about the new powertrain technology that Tesla developed under its Palladium program for the refreshed version of the electric sedan. Interestingly, the CEO didn't dive too deep into the new technology. For example, he only mentioned a brand new battery pack without going into new details. However, he did unveil Tesla's new plaid carbon wrapped motor and discussed a few details about the new technology, which allows for smaller, more powerful, and efficient motors. The motors are small enough to be picked up by a single person while also capable of achieving insane RPMs. During the presentation, Musk briefly touched on the fact that this new motor is only possible thanks to a new machine that Tesla developed to be able to build it. In a new series of tweets yesterday, the CEO elaborated on that machine. Fiber is wound over rotor at high tension load. Machine to do this was made by Tesla Automation. Carbon sleeve must put copper rotor in compression or it loosens at low temp due to differential thermal expansion. Preload is also helpful for maintaining precise gap to stator. Musk also expanded on the advantages of the new motor over its predecessors. Main advantage of this is a much stronger M field compared with a rotor that is held together by metal, usually high strength steel. Other advantage is that rotor can go to higher RPM, as carbon sleeve, mostly, stops copper rotor from expanding due to radial acceleration. In short, the new carbon wrapped rotor enables Tesla to push its new motors to a higher level of performance. Again in the same series of tweets, Musk claimed that Tesla's new motor is arguably the most advanced motor on earth, but he teased that the automaker is working on something even more powerful for the new Roadster. The plaid carbon wrapped motor is arguably the most advanced motor on earth outside of maybe a lab somewhere. We have to keep some secrets. We have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for new Roadster. Definitely fun and exciting engineering ahead. Previously, Musk had discussed Tesla using the same tri-motor powertrain found in the new Model S for the new Roadster, which could achieve greater performance based on the smaller form factor alone, but now it looks like Tesla could be improving the powertrain technology, too. The CEO has recently said that the engineering of the new Tesla Roadster will be completed this year in order to enter production in 2022. Tesla is supposed to have new engineering prototypes of the new electric hypercar this summer. Elon Musk, Tesla's new plaid electric motor crazy, new Roadster will have even crazier version. Elon Musk has revealed some details of Tesla's new plaid carbon wrapped electric motor, and teased an even hotter, higher RPM version that will appear with the next gen Roadster. The plaid motor is based on new technology that allows Tesla to build smaller, more powerful and efficient motors than ever. It's small enough to be picked up by a single human, but can deliver insane power and torque. During the presentation, Musk said Tesla developed a new machine to build the new motor. He elaborated on this in a series of tweets, fiber is wound over rotor at high tension load. Machine to do this was made by Tesla Automation. Carbon sleeve must put copper rotor in compression or it loosens at low temp due to differential thermal expansion. Preload is also helpful for maintaining precise gap to stator. Main advantage of this is a much stronger M field compared with a rotor that is held together by metal, usually high strength steel, must continued. Other advantage is that rotor can go to higher RPM, as carbon sleeve, mostly, stops copper rotor from expanding due to radial acceleration. Of course, when Tesla reveals a new and improved technology, it often hints at something even cooler in store. The plaid carbon wrapped motor is arguably the most advanced motor on earth outside of maybe a lab somewhere, tweeted Musk. We have to keep some secrets. We have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for new Roadster. Definitely fun and exciting engineering ahead. Musk recently said that the engineering for the next gen Roadster will be completed this year, and that it will go into production in 2022. A new engineering prototype is expected to be completed sometime this summer. NIO Episode 9 developed and built in 18 months, the EP9 debuted at the Saatchi Gallery in London, England. 
Six EP9s have been sold to NIO investors for £2,500,000 each. NIO has announced that 10 additional EP9s will be sold to the general public. However, it is not a road legal vehicle and none of the 16 production model EP9s was ever registered for road use. The EP9 is purely designed for track use and did not comply with the laws and regulations to be registered in China. None of the 16 production model EP9s was ever exported and registered for road use outside China so far. The EP9 can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, in 2.7 seconds, 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour, in 7.1 seconds, and 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour, in 15.9 seconds, as demonstrated by Richard Hammond in the Grand Tour. The car can achieve a top speed of 350 km per hour, 217 miles per hour. The EP9 can also brake at a very short distance, as Richard Hammond demonstrated at the Ebola drone. The car is somewhat capable of autonomous driving, which it did when the car set a record for fastest autonomous driving at the Circuit of the Americas. However, this was only possible because it was configured to drive autonomously. Each of the EP9's wheels has its own motor and transmission. Each motor has 250 kilowatts, 335.25 horsepower, giving the car a total power output of 1 megawatt, 1,341 horsepower, 1,360 PS. The EP9 is both all-wheel drive and individual wheel drive. The car has an advanced torque vectoring system that can adjust the power output to each wheel. The EP9's battery can last up to 427 kilometers, 265 miles, before it needs to be charged. Recharging takes 45 minutes, and battery replacement takes 8 minutes as the batteries need to be removed when recharged. The car is equipped with an active suspension, including a ride height controller that makes 200 calculations per second. The car's brakes are developed and constructed in-house by NextF. The car's chassis construction is all carbon fiber and is based on the Fiat Le Mans prototype regulations. The exterior is also made of the same material. The vehicle's batteries weigh 635 kilograms, 1,400 pounds. All of the carbon fiber in the car, in total, weighs 364 kilograms, 802 pounds. The total weight of the car is 1,735 kilograms, 3,825 pounds. Exterior. The EP9's rear wing is adjustable between three settings, parked, low drag, and high downforce. The EP9 produces 24,000 newtons, 5,395 pounds or 2,447 kilograms, of downforce, 240 kilometers per hour, 150 miles per hour, similar to a Formula One car, allowing the EP9 to corner at 3.0 Gs. Do you think the Cybertruck will be a success for Tesla? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you are new why not subscribe. Thanks for watching.